I'm back. Um, if I've been hopping a lot or rolling a lot, it's because I'm sitting on my birthing ball because no one wants a pregnant lady passing out in the middle of a shop. I must say, I'm feeling much bigger this pregnancy in terms of my belly than I did with Jaden. I feel like, oh, I am 24 weeks now, but I feel like I look and feel 20, 28 or 30 weeks pregnant. Hi guys, and welcome back to another pregnancy update. I've not done these in quite some time, simply because there really hasn't been many if any symptoms for a few weeks and also just because life has been crazy like it always is i did want to give you an update though in the last four to six weeks what has been happening what's been going on with my pregnancy and how i'm feeling at the moment so if you've been watching you might have seen that i did a gender reveal and that was just after my 20 week appointment and my 20 week scan my sonographer did a proper anatomy scan and checked all the fingers toes nose mouth just all the body parts are there and healthy and they all are very healthy if you've seen the gender reveal you might know that this is a boy we now know that we are going to have two boys very soon baby was also still facing up so head up he hasn't moved just yet but there's still quite a bit of time for us to get him moving and turning into the right position before birth as for my midwife appointment i had that right after my scan in my appointment my midwives were perfectly happy with my health as well as the health of baby and I have not really gained weight I'm not losing weight but I'm not really gaining either so that is perfect and according to them they actually prefer a anterior placenta for a VBAC this is something that I had no idea about even with my training I've not heard that an anterior placenta is something that is actually beneficial for a VBAC so I was really relieved to hear that the only thing that was a little bit of a downer is I did try my luck again just asking them if a home birth would be possible in any scenario in any circumstance right now and they just are not comfortable for my first V back to be at home so I will be going into a birth center or a hospital either way so let's talk about my symptoms quickly a weird symptom that i have been having i actually had to change deodorant because for me i started smelling my own body and myself i know that sounds really tmi and really weird but i felt like my deodorant which was a natural crystal deodorant was just not effective now that i am pregnant I changed to a regular deodorant and that seems to be working right now I'm not even though Niku said he couldn't smell anything maybe it's my heightened sense of, sense of smell while I'm pregnant but I could seriously smell myself and I've never ever had that before not even with my previous pregnancy another symptom that I have had is frequently going to the bathroom baby is seriously pressing on top of my bladder right now and i feel like i'm going to the bathroom hourly or more um there was actually a day or two ago i actually counted going to the bathroom literally three times within an hour so that's something that is a little bit new and a little bit different because it's really gone from being fine to just be spending a lot of time in the bathroom right now another one which I've also mentioned before is dry, is dry skin I'm not really having it on my face anymore since I've been using a different skincare but I am experiencing it, experiencing it on the rest of my body so really my legs and my arms I can really just feel it being dry obviously in South Africa we have winter right now 
and that is also influencing it but i'm sure that my pregnancy is also just taking a little bit of a toll on my body and i need to just use tons and tons of lotion in terms of my fatigue that is pretty much gone i am functioning like normal for the most part although when i am very busy like i have done recently where i've had two days where i was doing some serious decluttering getting up ladders cleaning some cupboards when i do do that for two days i feel like it takes me about two days to recover my sciatic pain is also pretty much under control right now i'm still seeing my chiro and i will see him up to the birth of this baby i'm at the moment we're seeing each other about every two to three weeks depending on how long i can push it before the pain really starts affecting my day-to-day -day, um, living and moving around i'm very happy to announce that movement has finally started i started feeling the baby around 22 weeks a lot of it was that pressure and kicks on my bladder which um, i've mentioned earlier but some of it has moved up a little bit i've recently probably in the last week or so i started feeling some movement a little bit higher and that's been really nice because i think that the movement i am feeling even though it's subdued by the placenta um, and it's not really strong enough for others to feel yet i am feeling it and it's really making me feel better that baby is healthy baby is moving and breathing and just everything is like it's supposed to be my lightheadedness and my dizziness is still there i have to be extremely careful um, that for example when i know i'm going out and i might be going to the shops that i eat before i leave because the other day i was it's actually happened twice now where i went shopping and i was in the shop and i literally started feeling like a hot flash come over me and started feeling like i was gonna black out and just feeling very weak and i literally just grabbed the closest thing next to me um and ate it in the shop just so that i could feel better because no one wants a pregnant lady passing out in the middle of a shop extreme vivid dreams have been a thing I remember also dreaming a lot when I was pregnant with Jaden, but I can't remember it being as vivid um, as it is this time. It's really affected my sleep in a lot of ways where I, I just wake up feeling like I haven't rested properly. And even waking up in the middle of a nightmare and not wanting to go back to sleep because I'm just so terrified that my nightmare will continue when i close my eyes again so that's been a thing i've been dealing with it i'm hoping that it's not going to be there constantly but it has been most nights for the last week or two and it's mostly nightmares i mean if it's just something normal just a normal dream just a normal day in my life dream if you will then it's fine i don't mind those as much but the nightmares have really been keeping me up and really they're just so realistic and so vivid that they actually terrify me in the middle of the night and I can't go back to sleep. I've had very slight breast tenderness. It hasn't been on a daily basis. It's probably every few days where I feel it. And it's really not something that's bothering me right now. So it's not something that I'm even going to make a big deal about. I'm also experiencing some increased cervical mucus and this is fairly normal um, for me and in pregnancy. I must say that along with my belly feeling very big right now, it also feels very sensitive and I have been quite fearful and protective of my belly especially around Jaden. he is a little boy he wants to play he runs up to me sometimes wanting to give me a hug and it's i love him for that and it's very sweet but i'm so like when i see him coming running um i literally just start protecting my belly and sometimes even my turn my belly a little bit just so that he doesn't hit it head on because it is quite sore and it is sensitive and i do worry that my placenta can 
detach another ray to happen but it is just something that I'm aware of since I've been in my second trimester pregnancy haven't really affected my day-to-day -day life as much I want this baby to be in the best position possible this time around I wanted the same last time but I've got a little bit more knowledge this time and I found uh, one or two extra resources this time which I'm using and I'm just doing things that will help him get into the right position and stay into the right uh, stay in the right position better so things that I'm doing is I'm going to link that below but there's a spinning babies video that you can download i think when i downloaded it last it was something like 17 dollars and you can download it that from the internet and um yeah just do those exercises it's very similar to like stretching and yoga and maybe even some pilates things in there um so just doing exercises like that to get baby in the right position and then also being very aware of well I'm trying to be very aware of my movements how I move when I move am I doing things um, the best way I can like getting into the car rather than putting one leg in and then another rather getting in sideways and then lifting both of my legs and bringing them in um, and the same for when I'm sitting on the couch, like I said, putting a cushion behind me so I am more upright. Um, and that basically what you want is you want your belly button to face forward. And even if you can't get it to face a little bit downwards, so forward and downwards is best rather than facing upwards. So as soon as you start lying back or um, you know your pelvis turns and tilts to the back that's not an ideal position for your baby um, also like now when I'm working when I'm editing on the computer when I'm writing when I'm shooting a video if I feel up to it and my body feels up to it to be on a birthing ball be on a yoga ball so I'm gonna link that video for spinning babies below you can go and have a look at that also obviously walking a lot is quite good I mean I feel like I walk like so much just in the house on a daily basis and then lastly in terms of my mood um, I've been feeling really good I've been in a hell of a nesting mood much much earlier than last time and even earlier than I would have expected it to come around this time I don't know I've just been organizing cleaning getting things ready throwing things out decluttering it's just been non-stop and the, on the other side again I've been feeling very overwhelmed in terms of getting ready for the hospital or the birth center because I have you know I, I, we, I didn't I don't know I never prepared this way before I did have a hospital bag but I feel like I'm going to be I want to be more prepared this time around but let's quickly move on to my pregnancy plus apps update for week 24 so according to my app baby is as big as a papaya baby is measuring in at 34.6 centimeters long and weighing in at about 660 grams your baby's primitive memory is beginning to develop implying that music and voices will be leaving an impression in your little one's brain your baby's spine is has 1000 ligaments 150 joints and 33 vertebrae blood vessels are busy developing inside the lungs and nostrils and are beginning to open now that your baby has fully developed hands loud noises may even prompt them to cover their tiny little ears your baby's skin has now changed from translucent to more opaque in appearance the cerebral cortex the part of your baby's brain that is responsible for emotions reasoning planning and the ability to solve problems is the most prominent part of your baby's brain at this point 
this is why i like this app so you can have a look at baby you can even choose different baby profiles different color hair and skin color to what you think your baby might look like the most but that's it that's all i've got for you today i hope that you've enjoyed this video and this update I, like i said i haven't done one in a while but this is pretty much an update of the last six weeks of this pregnancy with baby number two and i will probably be doing another one around 28 weeks which is when i'm going to see my doctor and then i'll probably have a lot more information for you in terms of where i'm going to birth and what the birth plan is going to be even though that might obviously change with the birth of this baby but at least we'll have a little bit more clarity on that when we get to week 28 so i'm gonna leave it at that thank you for joining me and thank you for supporting my channel i do want to mention that without your support i won't be doing these videos and i do do them because i enjoy them so much so if you're not subscribed yet please go ahead and do so if you enjoy these type of videos and if you've been here for a while thank you for watching feel free to let me know in the comments if you're pregnant how many weeks you're pregnant and the symptoms that you are experiencing i would love to just read what you guys are going through along with me even though we're not in exactly the same spot in our pregnancies but it's always good to know you know how our pregnancies differ have a good one and i'll see you next time bye guys